Hello, my name is Alston Oliveira and I will present this video for dnnhere.com on how to install catalog module on your .NET Duke website. So this video will most likely be heavily edited because I don't want you guys to be waiting for downloads, installations. So again, bear with me, it will be I, I guess that it will be quite quite a lot added. Um, so here we are in the catalog uh, page. And the first thing that I want to, to talk a little bit about is, uh, the different versions of catalog. Basically, there are four price points of catalog. And the first thing that you see in their homepage is that there is a, a catalog store pro version and there's a catalog store standard version. So, uh, in the standard version and in the pro version, you have the option to buy with source code or without source code, depending on, on if you may need to customize it or not. But uh, Catalog uh, Netstore Pro without source code goes for 129 And if we have a look here, you're going to see with source code is 199 without source code 129 If we go back, standard version goes for 79 without source code and 119 wave source codes. So if you want to get to know what are the differences between the, between catalog pro version and standard version, again, you can come to their home website, dnnsoft.com, go to the pro version, and if you scroll down, you will see a huge, huge, huge table of features, and it says at the beginning, standard or pro version again x under pro it's including the pro x under standard it's including the standard so you can see what features which features are included in each version so you can decide which version is more suitable for your needs now again i forgot to mention what is catalog catalog is the i would say that is the best e-commerce module for the dot that nook uh world and Again, although it's a little bit complex, uh, installation, not so much complex, but when you get to try to use it, it's a little bit complex. Uh, the learning curve is a little bit steep, but it is still the best e-commerce module out there for, for .NET Nook. Um, again, people have different points of views in regards to catalog, but it is still the, the best one for, for DNN. So, Here's what we're going to be doing. Uh, a client of mine has purchased Catalog and I need to install Catalog in his website right now. So he has purchased Catalog not directly from Catalog website, which is dnnsoft.com, but from Snow Covered. So when you purchase Catalog from Snow Covered, you're going to get an email like this. Thanking you for, for buying Catalog with a link to download Catalog and the username and password so you can log into this link. Of course, this uh, username and password here are just fictitious. So again, those are only, those are fictitious numbers, I mean, names and, and passwords. Uh, so again, you're going to get something like this. What you're going to do now is we're going to go to the link that they provide. And we're going to log in with uh, the real information that they have given to us. Okay, so once I'm logged in, I have many, many different options here to download. Because Catalog, again, you're going to have a, a different version of Catalog for almost each single individual version of, of DNN as well. So you just have to go through the list. What we have purchased for this site was the Pro version without source code. So let's have a look at the site that we have to install DNN. That, sorry, that we have to install Catalog so we can see which version of DNN they use there. So it's using .NET Nook version 494. So we have to download the correct Catalog version. 
this is DN5. So DN494 will fit right here. So this is the version that we're going to have to download. So let's just download it. Okay, so now the installation is downloaded. Let's have a look at the, the folder that the installation is stored. Okay, so it's an MSI, so it's uh, just an installation file. Let's let's run it. So it will basically, I think that this is basically a way that they zip up the the bunch of, of uh, installation files that they that comes together with a uh, catalog. So let's just go through the installation. Again, I'm not installing this in the in the web server yet. This is just my local computer. It's just a uh, our quote unquote unzipping process here. Okay, so it will install under program files. Let's click next. And let's wait it to be installed. Okay, so it is done. Let's close and let's go to program files. Okay, here's catalog. Okay, so uh, it is quite a big file, 36 megabytes. Let's try to unzip it here to see what we have inside. Okay, so my machine is a Windows 7 and I think that it will not allow me to unzip this directly in my program files folder. So let me find another folder to unzip this big guy. Okay, so I'm gonna go here, have a couple of, have a temp folder. So I'm just gonna copy this installation to my temp folder and try to unzip it from there. Okay, so now I have done it. Okay, so here we have a bunch of folders that uh, Catalog has just unzipped inside the the big zip file that we have downloaded. So here's where we have to focus our attention for now in terms of installation. Let's go to the PA modules folder. So those are the three PA the, the three zip files that we have to upload to our new site, the site that we're going to install catalog. You also be able to find under the folder that says documentation uh, quite a big PDF file. Well, or Word document file that will show you how to install, what you need to do. Let's make it the size of our video. Okay, so here we have. So if you have any any questions, you you may come to this Word document under the documentation folder. I just went quickly to that document to this to the section that says quick start how to to get the mandatory installation steps. So as as I said, we have to install those three uh, zip files. That's what you're going to be doing right now. This is the end of part one of a two-part video on how to install Catalog on a .NET Nook website. Thank you.